Eastern Slope camping area. As you enter, the check-in is on your left. The check-in took only about two to three minutes. They're very quick. You'll get a parking pass, which you have to scan in order to enter the camping area. On the left, as we enter the gated area, you'll see a swimming pool. Straight ahead of the entrance is the first set, which is 190, 185, and 180. So that's the first set as you enter the campground. They have a store off to the side here. So this first row is the R1 row when you're looking at the map. Some of them have the wooden canopies and some of them do not. So when you call, you're going to want to ask if that's something that you prefer. R2 sites. This starts the 159. The R4 sites. So these are all pretty shaded during the day, which is nice. You are a little bit further away from the water area. This area, which is R6, 7, and 8 and 9, are all pretty much full sun, it looks like. We're 11.30 in the morning. So if you don't mind the full sun, some of these rows would be good for you. They're more grass, which a lot of the sites have gravel and sand. These look like they have more grass to them. As we continue, R10 circles around that center loop. So now we're getting down closer to the water area. So this is the R11 row. And then R12 brings you on the sites right by the beach. So this is the People Beach. They have an Animal Beach and People Beach. So this is the People Beach. And you can get on your tubes here and go down to the Animal Beach. It's about a 30 minute. ride down the river. There is rocks and sand for the beach, so it's not a fully sanded beach. These sites by the water are water and electric only, and as you can see, the road is pretty wide, so the sites on this side, you're actually quite a bit away from your neighbor across from you. And these ones have a lot of the canopies and shelters as well. Some do and some don't. These sites, you can access the water. Some of them have a little steeper ledge, so you can't actually get down from your site. If that's something that you wanna do, you'll wanna call the office and ask for a site that can go down to the water. These sites here have a pretty steep cliff down, so you're not really going to walk, but you do have a water view, which is really nice. Once you start getting to site, I would say 13 and above, you really don't have any kind of water view anymore and wooded areas. Going all the way down this side, you go all the way around by the Animal Beach. On the other side is the playground, basketball courts, you have soccer. There's quite a few bathhouses which are just open. The bathrooms are single person bathrooms, the showers are single person showers. They're free, you do not have to pay for them. These sites down here are closer to the animal section. 
of the beach and they're pretty much shaded for the day. A little bit of sun, but not bad. So if you wanna be closer to the animal part of the beach for the dogs, I would say site 20 and down for those ones. And the beach access goes right through 26 and 27. So there's the walking path in between the two which is a very short walk. From the beach to here, it's about 30 seconds. There's a dead end this way, which goes all the way to site 32A. Coming around, you have the baseball field and grass area. So if you want a grassed in area, I would go with site 35 to 39 or 71 to 61. All of those will give you the grass area to the back of your camper. There are some sites over here as well. To the right brings you back up behind the snack area, which there are some sites over there. are 159 to 172. This is the R3 row area. So now we're on the other side of the green playing area. These are the middle sites that we passed on the way in. And these are pretty much fully shaded and away from the water a bit. I'd probably say these sites are about a three to four minute walk to the main beach area. You're really not too far away from it if you wanna to walk to the water. So site 65 has the playground right in your backyard. Site 63 has the volleyball court in your backyard. are 60, 59. You're close by the water, but not on the water with these ones. And again, the roads are a little bit wider than most campgrounds, so your neighbor across the road from you is a bit of a distance away, which is